tour. Another, another little wild camp. Uh, didn't exactly go to plan this one, first of all, because we uh, planned to go to Derwent Edge and camp by the wheelstones. But there was uh, basically a lay by and a sign saying, Motorist, watch your cars, this, that, and the other. And to be honest with you, we didn't want to park there because we were in the back getting the windows smashed in and ruining the old trip. So I decided to come back to Old Faith and park to the pub. Uh, it's the first wild camp we ever had in the pit. So I decided to come back to it all. And uh, we got it more or less all to ourselves this time, apart from a couple of climbers that are just about packing up that way. But yeah, the wind's a bit biting. It's a lot colder than you think it is. A nice lovely jacket on. Early Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, get the kit set up soon. Get the tents up and uh, get a nice big hot chocolate going. I got something funny to show you this time as well. I made a little purchase. Little purchase. That's right, guys. Bring you back in a bit. Right, tents back up now. Frost like. Beautiful sand here. And yes, Mr. Dave's wild camping. I'm not a messy wild camper, thank you very much. It's getting a bit of a brewski on now. So I've got for my dinner, good old British meatballs. The only person I guarantee to ever bring Bisto onto Higger Tour. <laughs> and some mashed tatey. Brew going on. Look at this. Check that out, guys. How cool is that? Uh -huh. It's official. I'm now a brand. Pens, key rings, climbing carabiners, you name it. You saw it here first. Blue sky for once as well. So. Yeah, that's the only problem with you at all. It's right by a road. Well, I think we should be alright to be honest with you. But there ain't many places to pitch up here to be honest with you. Obviously, because it's a bit of a rocky outcrop, that there's not really many places. But we found a nice spot anyway. Managed to pitch the hilly up a little bit better than I did last time anyway. Pegs in anyway, which is the price around here. Still got the old Delta pegs just in case the wind turns, but it's coming from this way at the minute, so we should be all right. Here. But it's very, very wide in comparison. I mean, compare that one to that one. It's quite wide, but a bit of time you don't mind girth, really. <laughs> Oh no, cheeky cheeky. On the old Primus Omni light stove now, the multi fuel titanium one. So I can flip the gas upside down if it needs to be. And I've actually got another gas this time, so there's no danger of running out. So, right, I'm gonna brew up, sit down, enjoy the view watching the sun going down which for once we can see. <laughs> Close it in a bit over that way, but should be all right, I reckon. So yeah, guys. Catch you in a little bit. and the moon's already out, eh?
all about. taking slightly too long <laughs> and I'm hungry yeah, I thought I'd show you this while it's cooking believe it or not that bit that screws on was out of a Christmas cracker <laughs> and this bit I got off eBay cut it down there because I didn't really need the whole big support thing but yes funky the shoe support the shoe cam everything <laughs> else is back mate <laughs> this is looking really nice this is. position it back in it's not as good as the brew support for the old camera lens mug but uh, I can't prefer that one myself. <laughs> right, back with the cooking stuff later then. waiting for the water to boil for the gravy I'm going to stick the mash in another one of the old one pot specials then it's gravy time it's quite thick it's like KFC stuff
That'll do for me, lad. Oh, cat, you want to see this? <laughs> this is well good. Now, if that ain't comfort food, I don't know what is. <laughs> Good morning. It's a very blustery night. They're not bloody loud, these tents. <laughs> uh, just getting the early morning brew on. Look at that, quarter to eight now, something like that. Wind's been on all night again. But stay dry for now. We had a plan though, that we're going to go to the little cafe inside the outdoor shop down in uh, Happersage. So Dean, you might know about that one mate. Uh, yeah, it looks quite good in there, so we're going to get some breakfast from there. So we'll just have a brew here, pack up, and uh, take it from there as they say. Right guys, if you can hear me, I'm straight wind. It's all packed up again now, it's all cleared up all the way. I suppose. <laughs> We're nearly down now, but come a different way back to last time. You can just see at the very top in the middle there. Walk all the way down the bottom field. And it's, well, it's a nice little pool, this. That river, obviously. <laughs> so, come on, these smart ass, how are we going to get up there now? <laughs> One step closer to the full English. Let's go.